Amen. God just gave it to me. So I am here to talk to you today about six word stories. This is something may, some of you may be familiar with. As six word stories have become a creative prompt in a number of different places. There's a Tumblr page and there's a blog site. The six word stories have their genesis with Ernest Hemingway, who was once challenged to write an entire story in six words. And this was the story he wrote. For sale, baby shoes. And so from this, this has become a very interesting and creative teaching prompt, which there are a number of other examples, not from a teaching scenario, but some favorites that I found, like, why are you in my selfie? And <laughs> sadly, I still make coffee for two. So really, with a, a simple statement that is about your everyday experiences, or your dreams, or the way you see yourself, in six words, you can make a comprehensive statement about something in the moment. And I just explained this to you all in maybe 45 seconds. Once you explain this to a class, if you do this early on in the semester, you can use this concept in a way that might be engaging, fun, and interesting. OK, it's the end of class. Give me a six word story on what you take away today. And then you have a way to check in with your students as well. I used this first in an online class, and I heard someone talking about the two truths and a lie. And so I used this as the introductory item where I, add, I introduce the concept and ask students to write a six-word story about where they are in their life right now. And these are some examples. I also invite them to reply to each other with a six-word story. Didn't get that many six-word stories on the reply. Next time, I think I'll require it instead of recommend it. That is such an awesome story. It's six words. It's not a, it's not a story in itself, but it still serves the function. So it's, I was surprised to see that the students responded more with things about their state of being and their feelings in this moment rather than their personal histories. I expected, grew up in Dallas, now in Mac. So you know, more things about their past and what they bring to the moment, but a lot of really interesting places where people openly talked about in a way that felt safe to them where they are in their life right now. So in terms of whether you use it at the beginning of class, in any environment, throughout the course of the semester, there are some, what I have found to be some really good things. <coughs> getting students to focus on brevity in our 140 character culture. I think that to spend the time thinking creatively about how you can best express a complicated concept in six words is really good practice for writing effectively. You've got to think critically in order to do that. So it's a, it's a quick assignment, easy to do, and it, it does require or invite some creativity as well. So I think it can be engaging and enjoyable for students. Here are some other ways that you can use this. As an introductory activity, it's very good in an online environment but I think in face-to-face -face as well, and can inspire some cross-conversation if you can set five minutes aside at the end of class and use this as a wrap-up at the end of a presentation or a discussion, if you've screened a film during class or discussed an abstract concept, something theoretical and you want, what's well, a six-word application that you can place this in a real-life situation. So I'm hopeful that that might be beneficial to you, and I thank you for your time.